Debian fans, it's here. Debian 13, codename Trixie, has officially landed. Released on August 9, 2025. This new version brings a fresh set of features, big upgrades, and some pretty major changes you'll want to know before you hit that update button. Let's break down the biggest changes in Debian 13 Trixie. First up, Debian 13 moves from kernel 6.1 to the brand new 6.12 LTS. That means open source NVIDIA driver improvements, RIS CV hibernation, DRM kernel panic QR codes, and support for modern standards like Wi-Fi 7, MIDI 2.0, and USB 4 V2.0. Plus, Bakachev finally arrives alongside enhancements to XT4 and BTRFS. And with long-term support, you'll get bug fixes until December 2026. After decades of support, 32-bit i386 architecture is mostly gone. Debian 13 focuses on 64-bit architectures like AMD64, ARM64, PPC64, EEL, RISCV64, and more. If you still rely on old i386 software, you can use multi-arc on modern hardware. But for aging 32-bit only machines, it's time to retire or reinstall with AMD64 where possible. Debian 13 is now fully compatible with 64-bit RISC-V processors, joining Fedora and OpenSUSE in supporting the open source CPU architecture. From boards like the Vision 5.2 to upcoming enthusiast hardware, RISC-V is growing fast, and now Debian is ready for it. GNOME jumps from version 43 to 48, a big leap that adds a digital well-being dashboard, better notifications, a battery health tool, and raw image support. The image viewer now includes basic editing features too, so small tweaks are easier than ever. KDE fans, this one's for you. Debian 13 ships with Plasma 6.3, bringing better graphics, tablet support, improved fractional scaling, and smarter notifications. It's a huge jump from Plasma 5.27, released all the way back in 2023. Lightweight desktop lovers will be happy to see XFE 4.20, with faster search in Thunar, valent support, high-res scrolling, hybrid sleep mode, and refreshed display and lock screen settings. It's still minimal, but more modern than ever. The open source Office suite now jumps from LibreOffice 7.4 to 25.2, adopting year-based versioning. Expect refreshed templates in Impress, privacy-focused metadata removal, and new chart types in Calci. After a decade of anticipation, GIMP 3 is finally here, updated from GTK2 to GTK3. There's a cleaner UI, multi-layer selection, filter editing, better color management, and a new splash screen to welcome you in. So that's Debian 13 Trixie, a mix of modern hardware support, desktop environment upgrades, and some long overdue application updates. You can grab the ISO from Debian's official stable downloads, and if you don't see it yet, give the page a refresh. It should appear soon. If you're upgrading, let me know in the comments what desktop environment you're going for. GNOME, KDE, XFC, or something else entirely. And if you found this breakdown useful, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.